What's up everybody, it's Moofta. Your pal Moofta. Anyway, today I'm presenting some flawless Team Deathmatch and Moab KSG action. I have to say, I absolutely, absolutely adore this gun. It's probably my favorite pump action besides my beloved and sacred model shotgun. Nothing will ever come between the love I have for the model shotgun. I mean, no other weapon anyway. But... This is a close second, and I really like the fact that you can slap a silencer on this one. You know, just kind of like the spaz. It, uh, it makes for some fun ways to kill people. And being all sneaky feet and such. Now, I was still leveling up the weapon in this video, so I had only unlocked attachments, I believe. So I was using the grip with the silencer. And surprisingly, it worked out great. Uh, even without range and a silencer, this gun was getting one-shot kills from crazy distances I mean it was amazing I, I didn't even know what to think at the time I was like man this gun's awesome because I had previously uh, used a spash 12 for the silencer and I had leveled it up all the way and I was using uh, damage on it so I could get you know use the range when I got the specialist bonus but this gun definitely has better range than the spash 12 spash 12 um, at least for me it, it seemed to be that way and it, it performed way better with the silencer. I mean, I, I was extremely confident, and I didn't even have, you know, range or damage. It was just the basic silencer and grip, so this gun has got it going on. And that's not to say that I don't like running this, uh, the silencer with the spash wall, because I really do. You know, I like to run a silencer with any shotgun, really, that I can, except obviously the A12, because you had to be within six inches of someone to kill someone with that weapon but Spash 12 performs great if you guys want to see the Spash 12 Moab in a team deathmatch environment it will be under the team deathmatch Moab every weapon and tips playlist which you can find in the comments or just somewhere on my channel under its own playlist um, but yeah let's go over some basic tips I guess for using a pump action shotgun now if you're running specialists like I like to do with a pump action and you're a mobile player you're probably going to benefit the most from having steady aim as your default third perk. Obviously as we all know it helps with hip fire spread by an enticing margin really. And if you're strictly hip fire shot a user like me it's the way to go. One of the best benefits though is being able to quickly ready your weapon with steady aim pro. Man I sound like I'm drunk or something. I'm sorry guys, I can't enunciate very well. Maybe I am drunk. Too much vodka. Anyway, if you're running around in an angry manner, I promise you'll benefit from Steady Aim Pro a lot. Because if you have fast reactions, you're going to blow by people and shoot them in the face before they have a chance to react because you'll be able to get that well-placed hip fire shot off faster. You're going to blow by them, you know, give them a quick one, boom. They're like, oh my god, what, what happened? I saw a guy run, run by me real fast and, and he shot me real quick like. And you'll be like, yep, I saw you from farther away and I just had fast reactions and I got my weapon ready to kill faster than you. Thanks for playing and you know what? Thanks for dying. However, if you're a more defensive player or you prefer running support or assault, you would probably find that sit rep or maybe even ninja would benefit you more. Because, you, um, well, obviously if you have a headset, because you'll be able to hear where the enemy is coming from and get yourself in the advantageous, advantageous, yes, uh, position and get your, your shot on, on target. You know, if you're, uh, not mobile, yeah, I think you benefit more from hearing where the enemy is coming from so you can, um, set yourself up to get the shot on target, basically, is what I'm saying. And I know a lot of you like to do this, you know, quick scope type or even just aim down your sights with a shotgun. However, I challenge everyone to practice just strictly hip firing, and I realize it's hard to break habits, especially when aiming down sights. But I found that with shotguns, there's really no benefit from aiming down your sights. And I actually think it, it hinders you a little bit because it takes up part of your screen, especially when you're coming across multiple enemies. So I would encourage everyone to try to get used to strictly hip firing, and I think you'll find that you do better with shotguns over time and uh, you'll be able to engage more enemies at once anyway 
I hope some of these basic, yes, I know, very basic tips helped. And you know what? We'll see you guys on the next video. Yes? Okay, goodbye now.